This week in Sunday Homeschool, we study how a deacon delivers, where we'll learn about Philip and an Ethiopian, as found in the book of Acts, chapter 8. Helping us out this week are Nolan and Cade. On this paper is an important message for all of God's children. It says, Yahweh is the benevolent and supernatural divinity whose penchant for acts of agape transcends human cognitive ability. Is it kind of confusing? Yeah. There's a lot of big words in here. But not that smokes. much. So I'm sure that you're not alone. I'm sure the people at home also don't really know what this says, right? But God does. God does, absolutely. Jesus. Yeah. Well, it actually reminds me of our lesson for today. There was a man from the country of Ethiopia, that's in Africa. Long ago, in the days after the first Easter, a man read a message that he didn't understand. This man worked for a queen in Ethiopia. He was reading some of Isaiah's words from the Bible, but he didn't understand what they meant. The Holy Spirit knew about the man's trouble, so he sent another man named Philip to explain Isaiah's words. Imagine Philip running up along next to the Ethiopian's chariot. He must have been out of breath as he shouted, Do you understand what you're reading? And then the man answered, How can I? Unless someone guides me. In today's lesson, we will learn more about how this true story turns out. Remember our first sign with lots of big words that we can't really understand? That's bigger than all these little words. Yep, there's lots of little words on this page, but this big poster, we would need help understanding, this right? This tiny page that we're going to go on is this one? Well, I'm going to show you another page, and I want you to see if that one makes a little more sense, all right? Okay. Let's see what is this sign says. Than it now? is different. This Those one says... Jesus loves you. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Jesus loves you very much. It makes sense, and you could read it all by yourself, right? Yeah, because I'm in first grade. Yeah, but now some I'm of in preschool. And some of these words were a little too big for you to read, right? <laughs> but you could read all of these. Can you read it one more time for everybody at home? Jesus loves you very much. Awesome job. So this is actually saying something similar. This is more words than But that. it's more words and it's hard to understand. That's we need people to teach us just like the Ethiopian. That is, a huge yeah, he needed Philip's one. help. He's a big word than those. That's right. Who helps us understand Jesus. God's word? Jesus. 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 Who else? Who are some people maybe here at church who help us understand? You. Me? Who pastor else? Pastor Klopp, but he retired. Oh, Pastor Klopp, but he retired. Who's our new pastor? Uh, pastor Boo. Pastor Boo. He helps us understand. How about your Sunday school teacher? Um, does she, remember. you don't remember her name? Yeah. But does she teach you different things from the Bible each week? Yeah. Yeah, all of those people. Each week she like reads rest of it and then Go. Yeah, each week we learn something new, and if we learn something new about how much Jesus loves us, we need all of these people to help us understand. And then when we learn something new, can we share that with other people? Yeah. Yeah, we can. We can help them understand. And then we pass on what has been taught to us. So it continues and continues, and hopefully then everyone will know... Jesus loves you very much. Jesus loves you very much. Thank you, load of sp speeding, speeding. Philip. Philip to us, Ethiopia. And thank you also for sending pa pastors. pastors and Sundays schools teachers to us we want to hear how much you love us too amen today we are singing a favorite jesus loves me the actions go like this jesus loves me this i know 
for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Show off your muscles. And then our refrain goes, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. And we're going to do the second verse today as well. And the second verse goes like this. Jesus loves me. He who died, make a big cross, heaven's gates to open wide. He will wash away my sin. Let his little child come in. And then we're going to do the refrain two times. So Nolan and Kid are the action pros, right? You can be a little more confident. You guys are good at actions. <laughs> so here we go, starting with Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me. Today for our activity, we are going to be playing hide and seek. In our playroom here at church, I have hidden three Bibles that look just like this. Are you ready to find them? Yes. Yeah. On your mark, get set, go! In the instructions for this activity, it says to hide Bibles and Bible storybooks around your room or around your house. Then you will go on a treasure hunt to find them. When all of the Bibles or Bible storybooks have been found, ask your children, how is the Bible a treasure to us? The Bible tells us that Jesus loves us, forgives us, and has made us his children forever.